Today for our homeschool, we met up with some friends to do some sand art. The first step in this process was to give each student a canvas to do their art on, and then they each picked their own subject and drew the subject onto their canvas with pencil really dark so that they could still see the lines after they painted it with a layer of glue and the background layer of sand. Watch to see the rest of the process. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get some glue on my brush right here, right, and then I'm gonna hold this so I'm not touching the edges like I'm a waiter or a waitress in a restaurant serving somebody a plate of food, right? Okay, now we're gonna put the glue on like this, right? Maybe it'll slide off your hand if you do that. Hang on to it here, you, you might get your thumb. All right, now now see what we put the uh, glue over there. You can see your drawing through there, right? Yeah. Yes. You can yeah. see it underneath. All right. So I want to get a nice, even coat. We won't worry about it right away. We'll just get some glue on there. We're going to get all the edges, get the edges, right? Make sure it goes all the way to the corners, right? And then hold it, hold it by the edge, right? So you don't get glue all over your fingers. And then we're going to do nice, even strokes like this. We're going to even the glue out. See, if it's too thick, you can't even it out like this. So we want uh, just the right thickness. We'll go both ways on this, both ways across, so it gets a nice, even coat, okay? Now, all right, now here's what we do next. All right, everybody move carefully without tipping the glue over. Come back over here to the table. And, uh, Denise, will you, will you bring a, a, one of that, the light colored sand? Sure. Okay. All right, so we got our sieve here. Here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to put this down on here. And I'm going to take some sand. Now, this sand here came all the way from New Mexico. Whoa. Yeah. There's this park down there. It's called White Sands, New Mexico. All right. Now, here's what I do. While my glue's wet, I sprinkle this on nice and even, right? Little circles like this or back and forth so it goes on there nice and evenly, right? See how that works? Until I get sand covered the whole thing. Powdered sugar donut. Yes, it's like putting powdered sugar on your pastries in the kitchen. Or like glitter. Yeah, like oh, glitter. 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 Alright, now we want to be careful not to get the sand colors mixed, right? We want to keep white in the white bucket and purple in the purple bucket and green in the green bucket, right? Now here, what's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick this up carefully by the sides, and I'm going to do this. See this? That gets the sand in all little cracks, right? And then you tap it, and you get most of it off. Okay, you see your underpainting under there? You can yeah. still kind of see the drawing underneath. Yeah? See that? I can't see Okay, now we have to let this dry for a minute. We'll let it dry. What do you do with the sand there? So this sand... The reason we did this here is, and uh, we, we just put it right back in, there, see? Put it right back in, we recycle it, so we, we don't waste any sand, all right? Okay, now we put this somewhere where you don't touch this for a little bit, all right? It'll dry pretty quickly, especially in the sunlight. So how about we find a place in the sunlight we can set these, right? I'm gonna just set mine on the grass right over here, okay? That will dry out in a hurry. Then we can begin, uh, I'll show you the next stage, we'll begin painting our individual colors. Now, if you get this in the sunlight, maybe you can see your drawing better in the sunlight. See, I can see pretty much where mine is. All right, now, so on my chicken, remember the chicken? I'm gonna do the body first, okay? So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna dip, dip my brush in the glue. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill in the space where I want to. Uh, now, we don't want to scrub too hard, right? So there's my line there. It comes down to that chicken wing. See, now I kind of even that glue out. You see what I'm doing? All right? Okay. Well, can you see in the... We'll, we'll, uh, we'll fix that if... Uh, I'm going to draw around the eye with my glue. I'm missing the beak there. And then there's the chicken's comb. I'll, I'll do that comb in a different color. Now the chicken breast around there. I'm gonna paint, paint the glue here. Careful not to drip. All right, careful not to get any drips anywhere else while you're, while you're putting this on. All right, and then I'm coming back here to the tail. There's my chicken tail. You see? Right like that. There's the tail feathers. Okay, now you have to move. The trick here is you have to move fairly quickly because the glue, glue starts to dry when you put it on, right? So we're gonna do this. I'll come around the wing there. 
I want it even. See how I got it nice and even? Now, if, I, if it sits on there for too long, it will loosen the glue underneath. But uh, if you move fairly quickly, it'll be just right. Okay, I'm coming around the wing. Maybe I'm gonna put a little bit of that wing color. I'll put a little bit of the wing color in there. All right, but I'm not a lot, not a lot. Just some feathers there. I'll get a little bit of glue on those. A little bit of sand where the glue is, right? There's another tail feather. Can you see what I'm doing? Everybody see? Yeah. All right, so now I've got just kind of a ghost, I got ghost space there with where my glue is, right? Okay, now before the glue dries, on that color, this is all one color. What I'm painting here, it's all gonna be the same color, right? We have to do this uh, color separate. We do it on layers, right? Each color is a different layer. Can you yeah. do multiple layers for colors? All right, now, okay, see look where I started up here already? My uh, my glue's starting to dry already, all right? So um, let me make sure I got enough wet glue there. Okay, now I got it. That's about how much time you're gonna have to get it done. Okay. Now, quickly, I'm gonna come over here to my color. You choose what color you want now. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I wanna go down here. I think I want a little bit of this orange, orange, like a red chicken. Oh, okay, I need that sieve. Where's the sieve at? Can you, somebody bring me that? That one's purple. That one's dark purple. That's what I want, yeah. Thank you. All right, now, so we have our paper here, right? Make sure we don't waste the sand. Get this, put this down here just like we did before, right? And I sprinkle this on here like that, okay? All right. Now this is valuable sand, so I don't want anybody to waste it. You do like this, so it covers in, right? There we go. Whoa. See how that works? Awesome. Now, be sure to recycle your sand, put it back in here. Don't get any dirt leaves or don't mix the colors, okay? We have one, one piece of cardboard for this color, another piece for this color. Don't mix the colors, all right? Okay, now we go back to the glue and we get ready for another color, okay? Here's the different colors, okay? So we got some, it's kind of, uh, I don't know what color that is. It's gray, greenish something. We got some darker purple, we got orange, and we have some real dark purple. That's about the same as the other. And then that one's a little bit lighter, uh, sand, uh, sandstone, southern Utah orange. That's more white, that's the same white we used before. That one's green, look at that one, isn't that cool? And then white, and I think this one's white too. It is. Yeah. Is there All right. Black? So those are the is colors we have black? to choose from right now. Make sure you don't mix them. Is Put them back in the same bucket. Continue adding layers of glue and sand until you have the picture you want. Thank you.